Hey everybody, welcome back to 90 and Out. I'm your host, Timothy Holtz. This channel is dedicated to the public reading of the Christian Bible. And we're continuing in our series today in book one of Psalms. You can check out the entire playlist on my channel for this series, as well as Song of Solomon. So check it out. Uh, without further ado, Psalm 37 from book one of Psalms. To the chief musician, a Psalm of David, the servant of the Lord. An oracle within my heart concerning the transgression of the wicked. There is no fear of God before his eyes. He flatters himself in his own eyes when he finds out his iniquity and when he hates the words of his mouth are wickedness and deceit. He has ceased to be wise and to be good. He devises wickedness on his bed. He sets himself in a way that is not good. He does not abhor evil. Your mercy, O Lord, is in the heavens. Your faithfulness reaches to the clouds. Your righteousness is like the great mountains. O Lord, you preserve man and beast. How precious is your loving kindness, O God. Therefore, the children of men put their faith under the shadow of your wings. They are abundantly satisfied with the fullness of your house, and you give them drink from the river of your pleasures, for with you is the fountain of life. In your light we see life. Oh, continue your loving kindness toward those who know you, and your righteousness to the upright in heart. Let not the foot of pride come against me, and let not the hand of the wicked drive me away. There the workers of iniquity have fallen. They have been cast down and are not able to rise. Thus concludes Psalm 37, a Psalm of David, contained in Book 1 of the Psalms. So, Please pick it up, read it for yourself. I read from the New King James Version uh, today. It's a pretty easy reading version. Um, so, came out, I believe, in the 80s. It is um, a word-for-word -word translation. Um, I tend to like it. If you've been following my channel for very long, you'll notice I read from it quite often. Uh, I also read from the authorized King James Version, circa 1611, the Lexham English Bible, the New International Version, as well as a few other ones. Uh, but those are, are typically the four main ones I read from, depending on why I'm reading. If I'm just casually reading, like today, I usually read from the New King James Version. So uh, if I'm doing some study, I like the authorized King James Version and the Lexham English Bible. There's um, just something about those two versions. And then the New International Version, I tend to read as, as a comparison and contrast and get a better understanding of the versions. So uh, each version of the Bible was written with a certain intention. Uh, there's three major groups. Paraphrases, which um, just take the text and go, yeah, this is the basic idea going on here, and put in their own. Um, most popular paraphrase is the message, uh, which definitely does that. And then you have phrase for phrase and word for word translations. New International Version is arguably the most popular phrase for phrase. 